What is up guys? Malcolm here from Majestic Skies and uh, today I am in Hoosier National Forest uh, very close to Bloomington and I am out for a, for a nice hike. I'm at a pretty beautiful camping spot that's completely free uh, right by Lake Monroe which is very close to Bloomington and uh, yeah I'm just out for a hike hoping I might be able to see some wildlife here. It's just gonna be kind of a, a travel vlog just kind of show you guys my adventures and uh, things like that so this will be for the first episode in the series and uh, I'm gonna be basically traveling all over the country so this is just kind of soft number one I've been uh, storm chasing for about the past month it's been probably the craziest month of storm chasing I've ever had but things have quieted down so when there's no storms I will be doing uh, lots of traveling and uh, seeing new places and um, hopefully seeing lots of wildlife and uh, yeah, just going on some crazy adventures. So, Let's see just how uh, mountainous this trail is here. Pretty crazy. A lot of people, when they think about this part of the country, they think about just flat prairie land. But yeah, this is the Hoosier National Forest. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, yeah, very, very dense forest. Honestly, if uh, you ask anybody, they probably wouldn't know this is uh, in the heart of the Midwest right here. Looks like somewhere on the west coast or on the east coast or somewhere other than here. But uh, you know, Indiana's got some pretty, pretty epic forests. Wow, this is a pretty beautiful spot right here. A very shallow creek kind of running through this valley here. And look at how steep that is. That is crazy. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's lots of wildlife around here. Probably pretty sure I'm in bear country as well, so we'll see. Hopefully I don't run into any bears along the way. Black bears though, definitely no grizzlies in this part of the country, but uh, yeah, they definitely do have black bears around here. So Normally I carry a uh, bear spray with me, but I don't have that on me right now, so really hope I don't run into one, but uh, odds are we'll be okay. I uh, really love this part of the country, honestly. I feel it's a pretty underrated um, part of the part of the US I mean I guess a lot of people do live in areas around here so it is heavily populated so but a lot of people when they talk about this region they just kind of trash it a lot and say how awful it is but that has not been my experience um, and again I'm a storm chaser though so you know all the bad weather and things are actually things I actually enjoy well I'm in trouble finding a way around here <laughs> it's just very muddy but uh, I think what I'll probably do is just walk along this creek, honestly. One of the other things I gotta watch out for is snakes. My uh, previous campsite, uh, I uh, actually uh, almost stepped on a snake by accident, which is a little bit sketchy. Basically, I was uh, taking some pictures of some snakes. And uh, yeah, I was walking around this kind of pond and there's a big one just, just popped up out of nowhere and almost stepped on it. So definitely gonna watch for snakes in amongst these uh, these leaves and everything. But uh, I think we'll be okay. Whew, man, there were uh, a lot of spider webs though through this forest. So uh, yeah, this, this type of lifestyle of a uh, non-stop adventuring definitely isn't for everyone. Either way, it's still a beautiful day. Having a great hike. Haven't seen any wildlife yet, but uh, we'll see. I'm having uh, having faith that something will pop up eventually. Now this trail does actually go all the way to Lake Monroe, but I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way there, just because uh, it's about a seven mile hike through this dense, dense woods. And uh, yeah, this trail is actually uh, used a lot with uh, people riding horses to the campsite I'm staying at. Has a lot of spots to, you know, hitch up your horse and everything. Kind of cool. Aren't many places like that that I've seen. Oh, it's a bit sketchy. But, uh, yeah, this creek is pretty beautiful. But yeah, there was no uh, horses there when I checked in. I don't think there will be if I leave in a day or so. But uh, yeah, apparently it's a very common or very popular camping destination for people riding horses all the way. Uh, to Lake Monroe and they do have campsites uh, in here as well if you do choose to basically uh, you know hike in and camp in the forest here but yeah it's just 
sometimes it takes a little bit too much too much effort if you're just not feeling it i actually have a bit of a cold right now so yeah for myself it's just a little bit too much but wow look at that tree is just completely falling right over top of the creek and this type of hiking i definitely wouldn't recommend for everyone because i am basically hiking with no trail here which is uh not really the smartest but because i do have this creek oh that's a big spider right there let's not go that way because i have this this main creek to follow i can just follow it back so no chance of getting lost it's just uh very very uh exhausting hiking Well, we definitely have some wildlife around. I keep hearing woodpeckers, so we'll see. I think he's on this tree over here. Let's see if you can hear him. I think he's on that tree right there. I love that sound. Such a cool sound. Let's see if we can find this woodpecker, shall we? All right, I'm pretty sure he'd be on this tree right here. I don't think there's any way I'm gonna see him though. Keep walking along here and see. All right, we had to let the woodpecker go. He was just uh, hidden up in the tree. I couldn't even hear him anymore, so he probably flew away. But, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful trail. It's just very, very mountainous. Oh, man, speaking of mountainous, I think that's what I'm supposed to go up right there. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be doable. I don't even see a trail leading up to it. So many downed trees and everything, I really can't tell. I think I'm probably just going to keep following the creek. But... Okay, so I was just walking along the trail and uh, found uh, this. Look at that. That is a big tree that's just been uprooted. Look at that. You can actually see where it fell out of. I mean, obviously, but yeah. I don't know if this one's recent or not. I mean, there's a lot of leaves in there, so it's probably been there for a while, but they did get around to really strong storms in this area, so I think a lot of these down trees I'm seeing might be from that, but either way, um, it's pretty cool to see that. Just the whole tree just completely uprooted. Well, we got some fungi here. Wonder if it's a magic mushroom, what do you think? Guys, tell me online whether I should eat this or not. Will it get me nice and high, or is it just a regular mushroom? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everyone knows you shouldn't eat random mushrooms you find out in the woods. Man, for the most part, this hike's been crazy, crazy uh, woodsy, but you just get these times when this opens up into this, this beautiful landscape. Like, look at this here. Such a beautiful forest. Definitely be, going to be uh, coming back here whenever I'm in the area. One thing I've uh, heard recently is actually uh, mountain lions are actually starting to uh, recolonize this portion of the country. Not exactly here in Indiana, but uh, they have been spotted in Kentucky and areas not too far from here. So. Certainly, it does seem like they're starting to come back into these regions, uh, which is great to see in my opinion because we wiped them out, uh, you know, hundreds of years ago when you first uh, colonized the United States. Just killed them all off. The only places they were left was, you know, on the western side of the country and like a small population in Florida. So it's nice to see them start to make a comeback. Oh, check this out guys. That isn't precarious, I don't know what it is. Look at that. It is just hanging on by a thread. I could probably dislodge that with one hand. Not that I'm gonna try, because that entire thing is just gonna fall down and crush me. But yeah, we'll definitely, definitely leave that one be. Well, I actually just checked on my phone guys, and I'm a lot closer to the lake than I thought I was. I'm about halfway there right now, so I probably have about another two and a half miles and I'm at the lake, so. I might try to make it, honestly, but we'll see. The bugs are getting pretty bad, so I may have to turn around. There's a road that takes me right to the lake, so it does feel like a bit of a waste. Plus, it's getting pretty muddy. I'm on the trail that the horses ride along now, so the mud is pretty bad, but not terrible. I've had a lot worse. Oh, there's a frog right here. Nature, look at that. He's a little froggy. Want to be my friend? Oh, he doesn't want to be my friend. All right. Well, we couldn't quite make it to the to the lake. The trail just kind of vanished in front of me, and uh, yeah, I couldn't find any way around. So we're gonna probably just drive to the lake. 
It's too bad, I was so close. Just when I was starting to get close, it's kinda like, oh, there goes the trail. All right, on our way back to camp. I think I found a much better trail. People apparently bike down in some bike tracks, so. I think this is probably the trail I should have taken the entire time, but it's the way she goes. Well, I was just about out of here. Until I met this, met this little friend here. I think he's a little toad, little toad buddy. He did just pee on me, so I think it's time to let him go. Alrighty, so I am back at the campsite now. And uh, oh man, I am tired. That was a longer hike than I anticipated, but uh, this is well worth it. You can see this is my back at the old campsite. Looks like uh, people down there left. There's some other people camping there, but I guess they're out of here now. So, got this whole place to myself, it seems. All right, so I felt like I was kind of teasing you guys, not even show you uh, Lake Monroe. So uh, this is beautiful Lake Monroe behind me. Uh, unfortunately, I just couldn't quite make it on the hike. Uh, it seems to be a pretty great spot for fishing. I've seen lots of boats out and lots of people fishing on the other side of the bank here. Uh, it seems like one of those spots where a boat would really, really help you. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one right now. do plan to get a kayak pretty soon so that I can actually uh, get out in the water and uh, enjoy some of these fantastic lakes. Just about to leave until I saw this little guy running down to the water here. Look at him go. He's home, but needs help. There you go, buddy. Run free. Let's watch this triumphant moment here. There he goes. 